A local woman missing a leg says insurance companies are missing the mark. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Arnold. Like so many people, Michelle Pritchard hoped Nashville would bring her a music career. What she hadn't planned for is the high cost Tennessee would bring to an amputee. News Channel 5's Brent Fraser is live for us near Capitol Hill with more on Michelle's fight for change. Brent. Scott, Michelle Pritchard always had her prosthetics paid for out in California, but being a relative newcomer to the state of Tennessee, Michelle is learning just this year how much red tape is truly presenting an obstacle. Blending in is what Michelle Pritchard tries to do. Help yourself to anything. But her story makes her stand out. I have a prosthetic leg. This woman who's grateful to be standing at all. I've had it since I was 18 months old, so I really don't know any different. A consummate crusader, a bride for less than a year now, Michelle and her husband Jared are embarking on a new journey, demonstrating to insurance providers why walking shouldn't be labeled a luxury, even for someone in her shoes. I learn that every state is different. She is metaphorically marching to Capitol Hill to Tennessee's House and Senate. Tennessee needs the Prosthetic Parity Act. So that medical coverage here might be broadened to include pricey prosthetic equipment. First though, this amputee needs a new right leg, a $30,000 investment the Pritchards learned will not be covered by insurance. We live pretty average life and um, it doesn't matter what kind of life you live, uh, if you're rich or poor or middle class, if you have insurance, you should, it, it should be covered regardless. Michelle spearheaded her own event to raise money, We've had a great turnout. to raise awareness, to a growing problem, says the Amputee Coalition of America, a problem Michelle refuses to let define her. She doesn't complain at all. Advocates say change for Tennessee amputees is months, if not years, down the road. Michelle Pritchard will be there, though, still standing. Michelle says two Tennessee lawmakers are already working to change things here in Tennessee. That bill is being drawn up. Problem is, it is not projected to get a great deal of airtime during this upcoming session. She is hoping for passage in 2009. We're live near Capitol Hill. Brent Frazier, News Channel 5 HD. All right, thank you, Brent. And to read more about Michelle's endeavor or to see what obstacles face amputees here in Tennessee, you can get to her website by logging on to ours. That's newschannel5.com and then click on News Links.